so stay happy uh, be happy and be healthy right hello my dear students how are you i hope all of you are in very good health i am also fine and i am welcoming you all to my class today i am going to talk about on how to take the best preparation for your presentation first of all you need to know who are your audiences you need to know their age you need to know their religion you need to know their mentality you need to know the language and you need to know all the other related information when you know your audience very well it will be very much helpful for you to organize and prepare your presentation if you know that your audiences are the children then it would be very much easy for you to organize a very good interesting and funny presentation but if your audience are the mature people then your presentation should be very much formal and very much serious after that you need to know what is the topic of your presentation you would need to know your topic very very well and for that you need to study and for that you need to research on your topic so that you can become well organized on your topic so that you will feel very much confident that yes i know everything about my topic so i need not to fear i will be very much presentable and very much spontaneous in my presentation after that you need to write a very good script because if you write a very well organized script and if you have some rehearsals on that then you will be very much communicative you will be very much confident during your presentation while writing your script you should decide how you should start your presentation in a very interesting way and how you should end your presentation also in a very much interesting way so that your starting and ending should be very good one and the audience will be very happy with your presentation now it is the most important part of your presentation that is you need to decide the fun factors the funny elements of your presentations there should be some funny activities there should be some funny stories there should be some funny factors some wit factors from satires in your presentations otherwise the audience will be very much bored when they are very much bored they will not be able to connect with you that's why time to time after 10 minutes after 12 minutes you should give some funny stories funny elements funny activities that will reinforce the audiences to come back into your presentation another very important factor is to make your slides because if you organize or prepare a very well organized slides that will contribute to your presentations because when you are speaking of something if you can give some related slides on the screen that will uh, make your audiences more involved into your uh, presentation they will be very much able to connect what you are talking about that's why making a very good formal and interesting presentation slides for your presentation another very important thing is to decide your real life examples real life stories if you can give a real life story if you can give a real life example from your life or very much close to your life that will involve the audience more that's why before starting the presentation you should decide what are the stories what are the activities what are the real life examples i'm going to give during my presentation now the most interesting part how you should use your hands and how you should use 
or your body to involve the audiences. If your hand movements are very smart, if your body languages are very smart, not like this dancing, you should be very much able to connect with the audiences. So decide beforehand how you will use your hands, how you will use your eye context, how you will use a smile and how you will use your body languages to make your presentation more interesting and more provocating and more alluring. Sometimes we will also need to use some kind of props. Props means some related uh, uh, materials, elements, things that you will use during your presentation to make your presentation more clear. Let's think that you are talking about the world. So you can use <laughs> an orange. If you were uh, talking about how to make noodles, then you can really bring noodles in during your presentation and that will make your presentation more lively. And the most important part of your presentation is your big sweet smile always smile during your presentation this that will mesmerize the audiences and you should feel very much confident during your presentation so smile is the best thing so please smile you should also decide beforehand how you will involve your audience into your presentation because if you cannot involve your audiences people then the audiences will feel that they are not connected with you so they will not respond to your presentations and they will not learn anything from your presentation so prepare some very attractive very interesting activities where you can involve all your audiences into your presentations the more you can involve your audiences into your presentation the more lively the more attractive your presentation will be and people will learn the best from your presentation question answer session is a must part for your presentations in every presentation at the ending point of your presentation there should be an question answer session where audience will ask you some questions and you are to answer them but for that you need to be prepared beforehand very well so that any kind of question that you get you will be able to answer that if you cannot answer them that would be a problem for you so that's why you have to take a very well preparation beforehand to answer the questions of the audiences and now the final part how you will end your presentations the ending should be very much provocating the ending should be very much interesting the ending should be very much emotional if you can emotionally involve your audiences they will remember you for ages that's why try to plan something that can make your ending so much emotional so for doing that you should take some preparation so my dear students if you follow all these my instructions if you follow all the steps before you prepare for your presentation i hope your presentation will be a very great one and people will love you for your presentation so get prepared for your presentation but if you still have some questions for me you are free to ask me any kind of questions just comment in the below boxes and i will try to give all your answer so still then stay happy stay safe and keep loving your learning have a nice day have a beautiful day i love you all thank you very very much